Hey everybody, this is Ryan Gibbons from eXp Realty and the Gibbons team. And what I wanted to show you today was how to create a squeeze page and actually have it in the navigation of your KV Core website. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is create a squeeze page. So you're going to do that over here at Lead Engine. And then when this loads, you're going to go to an IDX squeeze page. So you're going to click on select a domain, select your website, and start building. So now you're going to go through in here and you're going to pick the criteria that you want to use for your page. So I'm just going to put in a few things here that will work for me. So we'll go... Single family homes in Bergen County under $500,000. So you can get a little more specific. You can put different things in here. Uh, you know, just listed, fixer up or open houses, whatever you just want to do. But for me, I'm just going to do this for right now. So a little bit of information. We're going to generate link. Okay. And we're going to need this link here to uh, move forward. So I'm going to copy this. Now, it's a good thing to keep track of all of your land, your squeeze pages because once you leave this page, you can't get this back. So what I did is I created a uh, spreadsheet, and I have all of my landing pages laid out here. So it's very easy for me to find old squeeze pages. So now what we need to do is go into Web and IDX. And then we are going to go into Site Content. So we're essentially going to create a new page for this landing page to reside on. So we're going to go to custom pages and then add new page. So we can call this something. We're going to call this Bergen under 500,000. Okay, you can call it whatever you like. And then now I'm going to take that URL from the squeeze page and I'm going to put that right in here. Now, this is going to be important if you want to put these, a bunch of these on your page. Um, so you're going to want to create a category for the top. So when we look at my page, we go back here, I have Bergen County, and this is where I have mine. So I have a category called Bergen County. So I can put that right in here, and you can call it whatever you like. And then you can go in here and you can add a meta tag description or keywords. So for this, I might put in Bergen County homes under $500,000, homes for sale under $500,000. Um, you know, be creative on what this actually is. So once we have this good, I have my category set here and I've pasted that information here. I don't need to do anything else except go down here to save. So... Now, the next thing that you're going to do, since this is going to be the first time you're doing this, is go back to Web and IDX. And then now we want to go into Edit Settings. And this will allow us to change the navigation on the top of our page. So we're going to go into Custom Navigation. And then as we scroll down here, we're going to see select categories for navigation. So you're going to click in the box here, and then whatever you called that category should pop up in here. So mine was Bergen County. So I would click that and hit save. So I've already done that, so I don't need to do it now, but I would just click that Bergen County and click save. And then what you'd be able to do is go back up in here into your KV Core site, refresh it, because you need to get a new copy of the page. And then you should see in here, Bergen County or, or whatever that was will pop up in here. And then as you add new landing page or squeeze pages, they will populate. So as I kept adding new pages here, they kept popping up. And then as I click one of these, I can very easily go in and see the squeeze page that I had created. So uh, so this is actually the one that I had created before. So Bergen under 500,000. And then I go in here and I will see the homes in Bergen County listed under $500,000.
So I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions about it um, or would like help having this done for you, uh, just leave me a message and or comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.